What's going on YouTube? Geosnow8 right here. So in today's video I have a very important tutorial for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on the iOS 11.2.x and iOS 11.3.x with the Electra. As you probably know, the iOS 11.3 Beta 6 is still signed for some reason, even though the iOS 11.3 and the iOS 11.3.1 are no longer signed for quite a while. And this means that you can download the iOS 11.3 Beta 6 IPSW, restore it and downgrade from iOS 11.3 4 or iOS 12 or upgrade from iOS 10.3.3 to iOS 11.3 and wait for the Electra even at this point. Now I actually made a video about that just a few days ago on how to do that so if you're interested in doing that you can still do it, it's still signed, check out the video in the description down below. But in this video I'm going to show you how to save the blobs in order to be able to restore to this version that is currently signed in the future if you for example mess up your device. And this is going to be very useful if you forgot to save your iOS 11.3 or iOS 11.3.1 blobs. Because as you probably know iOS 11.3.1 and iOS 11.3 are no longer signed now and even if you wanted you couldn't save your blobs now for these versions only for iOS 11.4, which will not be supported by the Electra right now. But anyways, with this method, you will be able to have blobs for iOS 11.3, because the Beta 6 is literally the release version of the 11.3. Without further ado, let's start. Now, the first thing I would like to tell you is that you cannot use the TSS saver by one Conan, and at the same time, you cannot use the Telegram method, because these two methods do not account for betas. They are used only for the releases, or these in here, and not for the actual betas, which are temporary. In fact, the betas are usually an afterthought in these tools, because people do not usually save blobs for the betas, because they are temporary. They do save the blobs, but for the releases. However, However, in this case, this beta is still signed, which of course it shouldn't have been, but it's a very very big advantage for us who are waiting for a jailbreak. So unfortunately you will not be able to use this tool in here, but you will be able to use this tool, TSS Checker by Timstar, which accounts for the betas, and is available for macOS, Linux and Windows, and the commands are pretty much the same. So you press in here, download it, and you will have a new folder that will be available like this, which contains the Linux and and the macOS binary in here and some readmes and so on. Now what you need to do if you're on macOS or on Linux is to write chmode775 in order to give the permissions to this binary and drag the binary that is corresponding for a computer in here, press enter and it will give it the correct permissions. Now I'm going to open again the terminal in here and I'm going to go ahead and make this bigger so that you can see what I'm writing because we're going to need to create the command that will be used in order to you know save the blobs and this is not going to be an easy command, so hold on. I'm going to drag the uh, macOS binary since this is macOS in here in the terminal and after that I'm going to start building the command. So let's begin. I'm going to start with dash D which is the device. Now you need to know your device's ID and in order to do that you're going to go here to iTunes and connect your device and it will show up like this. Press on ACID or whatever is in here a few times until you see the model identifier and in my case it's iPod 7,1 in the same word. So we're going to say iPod, uh, sorry, iPod 7,1 which is quite okay. Then the next thing we need to say is dash E, which is for the ACID, and we need the ACID number, which again can be found on the iTunes. So we press again, we press again, we press again, and we got the ACID, we copy it, and this is actually one of the unique device IDs of this device. So it's important to have these, and this is the reason why my blobs will not work for your device, because these are personalized to your device. And uh, for those of you who are curious on what these blobs are, they're pretty much files that are generated by the Apple server and they are requested by the phone when it restores a firmware. And this is how the phone verifies whether Apple is signing a specific firmware. So if you save them while Apple still generates them, then you will be able to fool the device into believing that the iOS version is still signed. So this is why we save them, to pretty much be able to downgrade at any point in time. So the next thing we're going to write in here is dash M which we're going to use 
for the build manifest. And this is where it becomes different compared to normal SHSH2 blobs. On the betas, you will need to download the IPSW of the beta and extract the build manifest. So in order to download it, you're going to go here to the iPhone wiki and there is a beta firmware section. This one is for iPod, this one is for iPhone in here and there is also one for the iPad. And of course, you're going to find your device and you need to locate the iOS 11.3 beta 6 because that's what you want to save the blobs for. So we're going to go ahead in here and I'm going to look for the 11.3 uh, beta 6. It's this one in here. This one is signed. Do not go for the beta 5 or beta 4 the beta 6 which is actually the same thing as the release one so what we need to do is to press in here and download the IPSW I already have it but in your case you're going to need to download it and of course once you have it you're going to rename it in here and make it a zip file so that you can extract it you double press in here or extract it with WinRAR and inside it you will find a file called buildmanifest.plist. This is what we need. This contains the information about all the rest of the files in here. So we're going to take it, drop it in here, and after that we'll leave a space and we're going to write dash i dash dash beta. And after that, we're going to need to write the specific beta, so 11.3. And these betas also have a build number. So to do that, we're going to write dash dash build ID, build ID in here. And the build number or a build ID can be found in here. This one is the build ID for the beta 6. Make sure that you get the correct one, not the one from the above or from beyond, because it's not good. So we're going to paste it in here and we're going to write dash s in order to save it. And one last command, which is going to be dash dash save dash path, which will tell our program where to save it. And I made a new empty folder on my desktop. You can see it contains nothing. Uh, that is called shsh2 blobs. So I'm going to drop it in here and press enter. And it's going to say that is, you know, saving them is going to say error a few times for some reason but do not worry it will still save your blobs if it's signed and it will tell you whether it happened or not okay so as you can see it says saved shsh blobs and it says that the build this one here for the device ipod 7.1 is being signed which means that apple still signs this beta at this point which means i can downgrade from ios 11.4 or anything else to 11.3 still even though the main iOS 11.3 is no longer signed for ages so if you check out the folder in here I do have the blobs and if you open it with Xcode or anything else you can see that it does have the proper structure for an SHSH2 blob and there should be a generator in here yes there is generator and it's this one in here so this is how you save the blobs for a beta build now if it says that it's not being signed it will no longer save your blobs and it means that Apple finally found out that one of their betas is still signed when it shouldn't be and they will of course remove it but anyways this is how you do it please do it right now because I have no no idea how much time will Apple keep this signed. Anyways, this is how you do it and thank you for watching. Do not forget that there is some misinformation on the internet saying that betas expire if you install them and they will force you to restore to the latest version. That is untrue. Yes, betas do expire and when they do, they will show a pop-up that we have a fix for so that we can remove it, but they will not make you restore. That has been on the past on iOS 9 and iOS 8, iOS 7 but it's no longer the case so do not worry save your blobs and do not forget to subscribe to stay updated we'll keep you updated with anything that's going on in the jailbreak community i'm geosnow until the next time peace out